Hey guys and welcome to another City Skylines video where today we are going to work on expanding more of the city that we started in the last video. So we got this lovely front seafront, well more of a lakefront property area. We've also got it curving around. I think I might want to try and improve that curve to make it a little bit more smoother but we'll do that in the future. But yeah so essentially we need to get more people to move in so we need to get more residential zoning so if we just click there and bam, that should get a bunch more people in. Let's do a bit there too. Then we can ignore that for a little bit. Whilst we figure out where we're going to have a commercial district. Because I feel like we've got a boat connection there. So we want to have maybe like a tourism. I think it's tourism. Let me quickly check. So we want to have, yeah, a tourism area over there. We can, I want to try and, essentially what I'm trying to say is I want to try and do every kind of specific commercial. I don't think I ever do that in any of my city skyline saves. I normally just only do one of them and then that's it. So hopefully we'll be able to get all of them in. Uh, but we do need to find a place just to temporarily place down a commercial or maybe in the future because I think I want to have commercial here. Some form of like shopping area. We'll use like the mall unique building. But for now we need to get rid of that demand so we can get residential demand because I want more people's so, we're going to have to do some more temporary grids. And I'm trying to figure out the best place to do it. And I've chosen here. This is going to be our grid of commercial. Where's the next population thing? 9,000 people we get monorail and stuff like that. Might have to already expand on the other side of the city. Which is going to be a bit, bit of an awkward thing. Because we've got to move these things now, that means. Oh, I don't want to connect it up that side yet because of the highway route we've got that's connecting our city up. Now I'm going to challenge ourselves once we get more money to try and get rid of this lake here. It's going to be a bit hard, but I think... Actually, no, no, I'm not. I'm going to quickly get some zoning in because, oh my god, that demand has gone super high. Okay, just so we have some symmetry there. Lovely stuff. Gonna get some power cables along this road so we can get power to these people. Bam. Okay, that's all good. Okay, now I can work on saying what I want to do. So essentially, I want to try... How much will that cost if I just go like that? That's gonna cost a lot. Thinking about it. Essentially, I want to kill this lake here. Oh my god, why is there so many people dying? Oh, the average health is 57%. That is just a small issue. I will be honest with you a lot. Um, let's just add another graveyard in. Because dad's not able to process enough of the dudes. Have we done the garbage? Oh, we're going to have to get another garbage one as well. Let's just do that now whilst we've got the money. And let's just turn that one off. And then they could just go to back to that one. Why are they all leveling up again? Oh, they're just they're just being educated again. They're all constantly they're all just stupid people in this city. I'm like noticing more and more now. We do need to get another elementary school in. We're starting to hit the demand for that. But future future issue we're also the next current issue is we've run out of residential in this zone so what i'm gonna do is i hope they won't be complaining too much about traffic noise here i guess there's only one way to find out and that is just to zone it and see what happens it's only temporary disconnection so hopefully they won't complain about it but, you know, they like complaining in this city. Like, they complain about the taxes being too high. And, like, I see no issue with the taxes. Oh, power, power, power is an issue. Oh, no, power is a massive issue. Uh, if we just pump up the power demand for a bit. Okay, it's still an issue. Still a massive issue. Please, game, let me buy one. Please, 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 please. Why am I making so much money all of a sudden? What have I done different? 
Oh, it's going down now. Oh, okay. Come on. I just need 700. There we go. Okay. Oh, this isn't good. I might have expanded too fast for our city. Okay. Just, just, just for a second. I'm taking a loan. Back to 100% for both of them. And then bam. We're just on the edge. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to do another one. It's because these dudes are only making 14 megawatts of power now. They have to improve the power. They're all making a decent amount of power. They're making loads of power. Why are they making more power now? <laughs> I'm so confused. We've also hit 9,000 people. Lovely stuff. We can now do high-tech housing, which is what I want to do in the city. And as well as uh, the things that improve businesses. The commercial stuff as well as industrial. And then we've also got all of these metro train stuff. If I just extend the grid a little bit here. Oh, I kind of... Okay. We're going to make this side a little bit more quirky. It seems that side's got the coast very close to the coast. We're going to put a canal over on this side. The question is, can I build a bridge over that gap? I can. And that is exactly a node. Just to make sure. Node. Canal. Like this. Can I build a bridge? I can build a bridge. All is good. We've got a canal in our city now. Lovely stuff. We're becoming Birmingham. Having all the canals everywhere. This can't be a wide one, no. But it can be a deep one. So if I really wanted to, we could have a whole, like, deep level canal system. But for now, low level canal. Because, yes. And hopefully, that will also increase the, um... Land value when water goes in there. I don't know why all of a sudden there's such a large influx of people wanting to move into my city. I'm literally hitting... Like, look at that increase there. And I think it's because I'm hitting the demand perfectly for both industry, residential, and commercial. Oh, I forgot about power over here. <laughs> How did I forget about power over here? I gave them water. That's good enough, right? See, I'm not the biggest fan of doing grids, but they work. They're efficient. They do the job at hand. Like, I'm not a fan, but, like, it's working. It's making us money. you got to think, what makes money? Sadly, grids are the answer for some things. We've got a bit of a garbage demand. So we'll just we'll keep both of them on for a bit. There are these two burnt buildings and that one as well. So we can actually have some form of better zoning. What are they complaining about? Not enough buyers for products. That is a skill issue on your behalf. How's our public transport demand? That route's perfect. That route's actually better than normal. That route is perfect. We probably could cut a bus off that service. But then I feel like there'd be too much of a gap. And maybe people might not want to go on it. Also, I think I might get some buses around here. I want to, I want to realistically... We're going to have to connect this up with like a really good metro system. So we're going to want to have a bunch of a bunch of bus routes being feeder services for the metro when they'll be taken other places throughout the city. So, I guess we could start with the bus services now. We get one there, one there, one there. We'll go along the front seafront for a bit. But you know, we'll go We'll go on the seafront afterwards. Cuz I want to serve here. Then we'll call there. There. Then I'm going to move that stop there to there. And that can be... Uh, which way is north going to be? We'll have this way is north. West west run. West service or something like that. City west. We'll call that city west. And then we'll call this side city east. And we'll make them go the opposite direction. Wait, canals have ship routes in them. Oh, we could have like a ferry network through the city. I literally never use boats in this game. Even for cargo. It's something I need to use more. Because apparently it's good. We get the highway to like dive around. Go across like at the shortest point of bridge. And we have like a nature park here. That could be cool. I like that idea. Delete this for a second. Because I'm challenging my city now. Will this cause a massive flood? I think yes. If 
but I guess we will find out. Oh, this is dangerous. This is... Oh my god, this is very dangerous. Yep, we're going to have a flood here. That's going to be a massive flood when that bounces back. I could just maybe just for now go like that. And just temporarily diagonal just into that lake. That's not clever, actually. Thinking about it in the long run. But if we look at the land value here. Damn, that's going up. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, which current stronger? It would seem this side is stronger. Which is a bit worrying. Are we going to be killing this lake? Hmm. Oh, no. They're kind of just like chilling here now. Oh, yeah. 100% this side is stronger. Okay. That kind of looks really cool. It's also making this area really high land value. Oh, no. What's happened to my power? I don't think wind is going to be the best way for us making power. We might have to swap to geothermal. I've done that before. It works okay. We also should have probably paid off the loan when we had the money. I'm doing something very bad right now in today's episode. But I'm thinking of the long run. If I can get this geothermal plant planted plant down straight away. Rather than waiting for me to have the funds to do it. Realise I've done it the wrong way to waste... Nope, that is now the correct way. I'm not spending 13k to change that location. That's going to make us loads of power where I can get rid of these. Well, a decent amount of these of these. Garbage is becoming a bit of an issue. So is taxes in this area. So if we just lower the taxes, sadly, and increase the garbage to 90. Should be making more money from the industrial. A wood chip, a wood area is leveled up again. Lovely stuff. Now get those things which we'll do in the next episode because... We're going to finish it off here. We've got a canal in our city now. Wasn't expecting to have one of these anytime soon, I'll be honest with you. But we are going to instantly move it. Which is going to be, again, another scary thing. Working with canals uh, is scary. So, thank you everyone for watching. Oh, come on. Stop it. Thank you. <laughs> thank you No, no, no. Oh, oh my god. That's just not... Uh, that's not thumbnail worthy, though. That's It's a flood I've made here, essentially. Water, go that way. Come on, flow faster. Go on, go, go. What does this look like on the pump thing? That is large arrows. <laughs> I've made like a concentrated... Like if if a kid's been dropped in this canal, they're gone. Essentially, that's what I'm saying here. Um, but yeah, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. We've expanded the city a load. We've worked on a canal. Um, and we got ideas for a future park over here, which I think will look really cool diver on highway so yeah i uh, thank you everyone for watching i shall see you all in the next episode bye bye